All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, let me just set my laptop down. I was trying to get my microphone going so that everything could just start at once. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Paige. Um, if you could like, subscribe, and comment down below on this video and let me know what you think of it, I would really appreciate that. And hit the little bell icon. It'll just let you be notified every time I post a video. Also, sorry, I have not been posting videos. I know my last one I said I was going to be a little less busy, but I lied. I'm very busy, and college is just a lot. So I'm trying to just fit it all in between. So I'm going to actually like take the initiative now to like just start making more YouTube videos. So like usually when I go to class I don't wear makeup, but if I have to I'll start just like filming my makeup before class and wearing it to class and like I'll wear some good looks to class. I don't really care. But okay, so we're gonna start off today's makeup. So I forgot to say, but I will be doing the James Charles palette today, like a review on it. Um, I have already tested it a couple times, but I've only used neutral shades. So I'm gonna try out some of the more fun shades and let you guys know. So I'm going to first prime my face before we get on to the actual eyes. So first I'm going to spray my face with this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I love this one for like prep. And I'm going to take this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And this is a nude glow. So this one, I usually use like a more heavy moistri moisturizer if I'm not going to wear makeup. But this one is so nice when you wear makeup because it just like smooths out your skin. And it mixes in really well with these sprays. So... I'm just going to dot that on my face. And I do like to use a sponge when I'm using, like, moisturizer to do my um, makeup for the day because I just feel like it, your hands are less sticky and everything just goes on more smoothly because you want your hands to obviously stay as clean as possible so that you don't get breakouts. I bought a couple new things from Ulta, so I'm going to be trying the um, Flower Beauty Foundation and Concealer and then the Revolution Pro Base Aqua Priming base. This is new, so I'm going to be trying this out today, and I'm also going to be pairing it with the Flower Beauty Hydrate Primer. So for this one, primers are weird on my nose, so I'm probably just going to try to avoid my nose with this, just because I don't want to have a bad makeup day today. The mist on that's really nice, actually. It's really fine. It doesn't feel too bad either. It feels nice. So before I go in with the Flower Beauty one, I'm just going to take the butt of my sponge again and make sure everything's nice and tapped in. I mean, I won't know until I put on foundation, but that feels really nice and tacky. And then just because my skin is really dry and it's winter, I wanted to try this Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I love Drew Barrymore, so I'm so excited to actually try out her products. Um, I've, her shade range isn't great, so I've been putting it off because I wasn't sure if there would be like a perfect shade for me or how it was going to work. And, um, I do like, though, that her shade range for this is even. Like, it's not like she made a bunch of light shades and no dark shades. I feel like it's pretty even. I think there's, like, four in the light, four in the medium, four in the deep, and four in the deep dark. Which still isn't a lot, but at least it's, like, equal for every skin tone. It's not, like, one person's being favored over another. Next, I'm going on to the most exciting part about the video. I feel like the James Charles palette. I'm going to take this Mark B M200 brush and I'm going to dip into the shade, I think it's Tune. It's going to be like this yellow shade here. So I'm just going to coat my brush in that and tap it off. And I'm just going to pat that again like as a transition shade. It's pretty light so it's probably going to be the color of my skin. But I just want something there to like help the shadows blend. But I'm going to start off with B and I'm going to put it like in my inner third but try to keep it in my crease as much as possible. I also need to see if I have a clean brush because I have not cleaned my brushes in a hot minute. Okay, so be fine. So I'm going to pick up B, and this is a BH Cosmetics number 5 brush. So just like that. And I'm just tap off the excess, and I'm just going to place that here. Okay. That's cute. It's blending well. And maybe just like whatever's left, I'm going to pull out just so that my other shades have something to blend into. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to take the shade Social Blade, which is this one down here. I don't usually do greens, so I'm a little nervous, but we're going to do it. I'm just going to use that same brush. So I'm kind of going to run that on the entire outer corner where the yellow wasn't one at and just kind of work that in 
and then I'm going to pull it down a little bit lower than that yellow. I don't quite know what I'm doing yet, but we'll see. We'll get something out of it. Okay, now blend. I am going to cut the crease so this down here, while it does look messy, isn't going to matter too much in the end. And I'll just take the original brush again and just re-blend the two together. <laughs> So now I'm going to go into the shade Daddy, which is this darkest green right here. And I'm going to pat this on the outer corner, like up here. Okay, so I loaded up the brush. And I'm just going to tap off the excess. And then I am just going to pat this. Start by patting. And then slowly working it in. And I saw this trick from Tati. Um... She like leans her head back and then looks up because she has um, hooded eyes as well. So if you have hooded eyes, it's a really good tip. Okay. And then again, I'm just going to kind of bring that color in, but lower than the green that I even placed below that yellow. Crease. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. I think this is where I want the crease to end. even okay now I'm gonna go and that see that kind of gives you like a little outline of where your crease is going to be okay so just look up for a minute and okay now you guys can see it I was a little worried it wasn't gonna show up on camera I'm going to set down the James Charles palette for a sec and just work on blending this okay I'm back here's the crease all cut so what I think I want to do is, I'm not going to pick up any more product, but just whatever's left over on this crease brush, I'm going to just tap the edges out, just like that. I'm just going to pick up, I think, what on my finger. And I'm first just going to pack it on, and then I'll probably go into a brush second just to clean everything up. Ooh, that's really pretty. So there's just guac on its own for my fingers. I think I'm going to wet the brush just a little bit. And while I'm letting that dry slightly, I'm just going to go back in with the five brush. And just make sure everything's nice and blended. Okay, there we go. So now I think that's going to be dry enough. I just want to pack it over the top. Okay, that's really pretty. I do have quite a bit of fallout, though. We're going to take a pause from the James Charles palette for a second and work on the face. So everything's primed. Yep. Feels good. I think first I want to go into foundation. So this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup <laughs> Nude Skin Feel Foundation. And I'm in Classic Tan M3. So that's kind of what I was saying. Usually I'm like low end of the medium, high end of the light. So I'd be like, oh no, I gotta skip all over my sweater. Yikes. Okay. So that, oh, anyways, that's what I was saying about this um, shade range though, is usually I'm not in the high end of the mediums. So, like you can look at me and see that like, usually I'm in the low end of the mediums, high end of the lights. So like this is classic tan, but I'm in the Too Faced one. I'm sand in here and I'm classic tan. So the bottles look very similar, the classic tan, or no, the sand from Too Faced, though, is just obviously on the lighter end of the spectrum of Too Faced. But she's working on a shade expansion, so it's fine. It's just something you should think about, like, because there might not be a shade. Okay, I'm just going to tap this all over the face. Just like that. And then start buffing. And it is a little dark, but I am kind of um, self-tanned. Not a lot, but just enough that, like, it matches my skin. Not so much my face. I've also tried this foundation with a sponge, or with a brush, and it works really well with a brush too. But I wanted to try it once with a brush and then try it on camera with a sponge. But the finish is looking pretty much the same. So you can use either, whatever your preference is. And then just kind of get it across the eyebrows. 
And again, I have bangs, so I'm not too worried about how my forehead looks. As long as there is color. So I also have the Flower Beauty Concealer. I got it in the shade M1, hoping that it would be light enough. But it is kind of dark. It's the color of the foundation. So I'm going to put this on for the... Because it does have amazing coverage. So I'm going to put it on for the coverage aspect. So as you can see, like it is a little lighter, I guess. But like not enough that it brightens how I like. So I'm going to put this on here for the coverage. Okay, so now... I thought I'd let this sit for a second. I'm going to first blend out the bottom. So make sure there's no creasing. And now I'm just going to dip my sponge right in. Just like that. I'm going to finish my face, do my under eyes, and we'll come back. Alright, and I'm back. So I came back a little early. As you can see, I don't have highlighter blush on, nor are my under eyes done. So first, I just wanted to try something out. I'm going to try the shade Mary, which is this shade right here. I'm going to try her as a blush. So I'm just going to lightly tap my brush in there. I'm going to tap it off. So I'm just going to start lightly. Oh, that's actually pretty. Okay, that's really cute, actually. Oh. Okay, so there's that. It's a little bit intense, but I can always bring it back down with a powder. Okay, that's really cute. So I'm going to spray my face with this Mario Badescu... This is the rose one. I have one in every sign except for the orange one because I didn't like how it smelled. Just give it a good spritz. Take the butt of your sponge again. And first just start down here. And start packing up. This just takes away the powdery appearance of your makeup. Okay. Work it in. And I do everything first, and then let it dry a little bit. And then I'll go over my nose. But as you can see, it picked up a lot of that powder, and it just is helping everything sink right in. And then do it over the nose. So while it's still a little bit wet, I'm going to take the shade Face from this palette, which is right here, and I'm going to do my highlight. I just hate the powdery look of makeup. If you don't mind it, then obviously you don't have to do that. But it takes away the powdery look. That is gorgeous. Wow. Alright, that turned out very pretty. Especially if you spray your face. Oh, it looks so good in person. Okay. That is so cute. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, I'm having like a moment over this highlighter. Yeah, sorry I cut off earlier. I was going to do my full face on camera, but my maintenance guys just like showed up at my apartment, so I felt weird like filming and that they could like hear me. <laughs> okay, so I also just want to add a little bit to my ears because it's cute. Oh, I love this. So cute. Okay. Phew. Now, let me take a break for a second from the face. I'm going to take this Morphe M169. Grab it and just pop it right below the brow. Oh, so pretty. Pull it in a little bit. Same thing over here. Okay. That is so cute. This is already like a 50 minute video I'm going to have to cut down. Oh my god, I love makeup though. Like, I just can't help it. Taking the same brush. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. Same as always, I always just do it right here and then tap it on the end. So there's no product here and it just elongates the nose. Going back to my highlighting brush, I'm going to highlight right above the brow. Oh. And then right here. Oh, I love right here. This, I don't know why, but this just does it for me. This is when I know my makeup's going to come together, is right when I get there. Oh. So pretty. 
I did not expect this to be like that great of a highlighter. Like I saw James Charles saying it was and like it's his palette though. He's never gonna say it's not a good highlighter. Not to say like he's lying to you but like I don't know. Sometimes like influencers it's their makeup. They're gonna say it's great. They're, it works for them. That's why they made it. <laughs> Grab the wrong brush. Where is my brush I was using earlier? Here it is. I'm gonna go back into this Ipsy crease brush going back into Daddy which is the dark green. I'm gonna pick that up and start to work it to the outer corner. Like that. Okay, she's cute. Now I'm gonna go back into Social Blade. Just blend that down. Okay, now on a skinny, skinny brush, I think there's nothing on this. Yeah, this will be good. This is the Morphe M516 brush. It's double-ended. I'm going to use this end. I don't ever use this end, but... So this side, I don't know. I just feel like it's nice. It picks up this one, like, because I don't ever use it, so it sits in the bottom of my pot. It's just now bent, so I never have a use for it. But this side is very nice. I like this side. So I'm going to take that. I'll just use that to blend just to brighten up my under eye a little bit. There we go. So I'm also, I think, going to pop that on the inner corner before I go on with B. Yeah, that's cute. So now using the same brush, I'm picking up B, which is the yellow shade. And I'm just going to tap that right in there. Okay, so that looks crazy at the moment. I'm going to go in with my M200 brush and just kind of tap it. That looks better. Now I'm going to pick up the same brush I used to highlight under my brow, which is the M169. And I think I want to pick up the shade Ring Light, which is this really pretty shade up here. It's like a white shimmer shade, like a little champagne-y, but very like light. So I'm hoping it doesn't have a lot of pigment in the back. I'm hoping it's just a lot of shimmer. So I'm going to lightly just wave it. I don't want to tap it. Okay, that was a little more pigmented than I wanted. Which is horrible to say because it should be pigmented. It's just not quite what I wanted the results to be. Okay, I don't quite like that. So I think I'm going to pick it up on this brush again. Spray it with the spray and leave it sit for a sec. I think it's from Mumu Mitchell. He's the one who says, like, if you spray it and let it just sit, then it intensifies it a lot more. I'm still just stunned by this highlighter. Oh, it's so pretty. So take it. Tap it over. There we go. It did cover up a lot of that yellow, but that's okay. It looks really pretty as it is. I think that's a little better. That's probably what I'll end up sticking with. I don't know. Green eyes are hard. Okay. <laughs> All right. But anyways, on that note, I'm going to end this video. Um, like, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys liked it. So this is the full face. Sorry, I feel like I have a little. Yeah. Okay. This is the full face of kind of new impressions. I use a new foundation primer concealer, which was Flower Beauty. And, oh, I also threw in the Makeup Revolution spray. And then for my eyes is the James Charles palette. And for the highlight, which, hi sis, that highlight is good. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumb, thumbs up and subscribe down below. And leave a comment letting me know how you feel about it. And then hit the bell notification and you'll get a notification every single time I post, which, pray for me, that'll be more steady than it is now. <laughs> but other than that, I think that's all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed.